Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've done anything on this channel, I'm sorry, but I just got my October Birch Box in the mail, so I decided why not do an unboxing for you. Um, I've already kind of peeked and saw what I got inside, so I'm sorry about that, but I can tell you right now that I'm a bit disappointed in this, much, this month's Birch Box. Um, in September, I got an email from Birchbox saying that they're partnering up with Goop and giving me the option of choosing to get that box. So thinking back to the other boxes that they've done with other um, companies, they had the Gossip Girl box, they had, I want to say Vogue or something, another magazine like that, I honestly don't remember. But those boxes were pretty good, so I decided to get the um, Goop box. Goop, that's such a weird word. But it came, my birch box came wrapped in cardboard that was this color, like a light periwinkle lavender color. It says birch box and Goop. But the box itself just looks completely normal. I opened um, the label with a pen, so I got a mark on the box. But it's just a normal size birch box. Um, so I open it up. And of course you get the little card that explains to you what you're getting. And this month's wrapping paper is white and it just says goop all over it. Kind of cute. So just to open things up, the first thing... When I saw that I got this, at first I was really excited because I've heard a lot of things about this um, product on YouTube. But then when I saw like the samples, I was just kind of like, oh, really? That's it? I understand it's $10, but I hate the little plastic samples. So this is the Embryolise La Creme Concentrate. And I know that the Pixie Woo sisters really hyped this up on YouTube, and a lot of people have also... Um, talked about how it's a really good product. I personally have oily skin So I probably won't be using this as a primer just because my makeup would slide all over my face, but I am quite excited to see how it works at night and My only qualm with this is that there's just like little packets like I hate packets I mean at least they gave two which is a little better than just getting one but packets come on Okay, the next thing is in this hair powder by Lulu Organics. What does it say on it? Lavender and Clary Sage hair powder. I guess it's just a hair powder dry shampoo. Um, gently tap a dime sized amount of powder onto the palm of your hand, rub palms together, and work through the root of your hair, brush through. So We'll see how this works. I don't generally use dry shampoos on my hair just because my hair tends to be really, really dry. So any oils that occur are more beneficial than not to my hair. But on certain days when my hair is feeling particularly nasty, I'll, <laughs> I'll use this if I don't have time to wash it. Okay, the next thing is this Karuna Hydrating Treatment Mask. And that looks like this. Um, it's just one of those sheet masks that it demonstrates on the back. You take it out of the packet, you apply it to your face, and then um, this one says 10 to 20 minutes later, you take it off. So, oh, I forgot to say the full sizes. The prices for the embryo lease the full size is $16 and the hair powder full size is $30 that's a lot for this hair powder for the full size of these masks for mass is $28 which I think is absolutely ridiculous but I'm probably just spoiled since I've used a lot of Korean sheet masks and those generally are like one to two dollars each so there's no chance in hell I'm paying $28 for four. Like, I don't care how amazing this is. I'm not going to pay that much money. $7 for one mask? Mm -mm. Not happening, but I am excited to use this and see how it works. Mm -hmm. And then the last part of the goop box before the little extra benefit is this 
a little lip gloss sample from Naked Princess. It's the Naked Shine Luscious Lip Gloss. The full size is $26 and I guess it has a plumping effect. So it stimulates collagen non-tacky with a gentle lip plumper. And I was excited for this, <clears throat> sorry, the sample until I saw <laughs> the size of it. Like, uh, how much use am I going to get out of this? Oh, and the color is barely nude. See how small this is? It's up backward. Hey, naked princess. Or, yeah, naked princess, and then barely nude. But if you look at it, it's so tiny. Like, the plastic surrounding is pretty, pretty thick. If you can see there and compare this to my pinky, it's like the size of my pinky. And if you open it up, it has a little doe foot applicator. Like that. And then the product. There's so little product in this. Like, I can put it on right now. I don't have anything on my lips. Let's see how. I mean, it's nice. It's supposed to be very, very sheer. Um judging by like the barely aspect of the name. It's not sticky. And it has like a really nice like scent to it. I'm not really good at placing scents, but the product seems pretty nice, but no way I'm spending $26 on one lip gloss. And then see that little product. Like, do you see how little product that is? And there's plastic along the edges, so it's like even less. I prefer, what is it, the Joye lip glosses. Those are still pretty small, but at least you get enough for, that'll last you a little while. I'm really disappointed with this lip gloss sample. And then the little Life um, Style Extra is this Luna Lemon Zest Bar, which I've, I don't know if I've tried this one, but I've tried other Luna bars and I'm, I like generally most of them, so I'll probably like this too. But all in all, for this box, I was really quite disappointed, especially since it was a collaboration box. I thought it would be a little bit better, but again, I'm only spending $10, so can't really expect the world for $10. But that's it for now. Tell me what you guys got in your box, especially if you didn't opt for the goop box. Like, did you get good products? I'm wondering if the next time they decide to collaborate, whether or not I should opt for it. Probably will, just because why not? But let me know what you got in your boxes down below. And be sure to rate and subscribe and comment and all of that stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye.